So I want to get started by showing where things are in the new project. So assuming that you've just downloaded the new uh, FTC app uh, software development kit and you have done a Android Studios import so you've imported the folder so that everything's set up and you've given the uh, Android Studios plenty of time to load all its pieces and run all its gradles and do all that sort of stuff so at the bottom of the screen here nothing's happening in my case it finished it seven you know, 16 minutes ago so I've been sitting here so up in the top left hand corner you'll see that things will look a little different if you're doing it last year first thing to make sure you're doing is to make sure you've clicked the project button and the Android button so the structure here is the Android project structure um, two main places we're going to be looking at stuff first of all there's a a module here called team code and if we expand this uh, and open the Java you'll see that there's this uh, ftc.teamcode folder and uh, the only thing in it is a readme so if we open this readme uh, this I, I would recommend you read this all the way through just to get a feeling for what's going on here but this talks about um, the fact that you have to copy your sample op modes into this folder uh, and how the names are structured and uh, how you go about doing that copy uh, so that's some pretty important reading so I suggest you do that but that's what we're going to go through today is just look at uh, look at how that happens so the main difference this year is that you have a starting folder this team code folder that is essentially empty there's no code in it which means there are no active op modes in this initial install which might seem like an oversight but it's really so that everything you do is in one location um, and you're not modifying existing code so if you ever do an update which we assume you're going to do um, you don't blow away your code so everything in this folder here is new and fresh uh, is yours and won't be corrupted by any downloads or any updates so that's the that's the main thing But that means that everything that you want to run has to be put in here that's a pretty simple process I'm just going to go through an elementary one first to show you it and then we'll talk about what we just did so all of the samples are located in the other module which is the FTC robot controller module so I'm going to expand this guy out go to the Java and you will see there's an external samples folder so if I expand that now you'll see that there are a ton of examples now these are all new so none of these are hanging over from last year because they've all been restructured and uh, to accommodate the changes in the development kit this year one thing you'll notice is the naming convention has been standardized uh, and if you want an explanation of the naming convention you want to read the readme folder and uh, readme file here if I double click that you'll see it talks about the naming uh, it echoes some of the stuff in the other readme uh, talks about you know how to interpret these names and that's a good read if you want more details or if you're interested in contributing samples um, then you should look at the samples convention readme which goes into more details um, about uh, the conventions and, and naming and, and all sorts of stuff like that so a good read but we're not going to deal with that right now because we could spend a lot of time doing that so in order to get yourself uh, your first op mode uh, you're going to take one of these and in all cases what you're going to do is you're going to be copying and pasting from the samples folder into your team folder and we're going to take one of the most elementary examples in here which is one of these templates and these templates essentially showing you the structure of the code and there's two types of structures that we currently have um, the original op mode structure with the, the looping kind has just been named iterative to um, match uh, other conventions we use in first and it's better than just saying the regular one so this is an iterative op mode and this is the kind that does the looping then you have the linear op mode and that's the kind that is a you know beginning to end coding method now last year I was all for using the iterative because it was the most uh, predictable in its behavior uh, a lot of work's been done on the linear a lot of the the coding uh, that deals with talking with hardware and synchronizing and making sure everything's done is a lot better this year and so I'm going to be recommending the linear in most instances um, the beauty of the linear is you can do it as a all-in-one uh, programming uh, sequence or you can do loops in there to have you know you can still do state machines you can still do testing so the linear mode lets you do a combination of both whether whereas the iterative you can only do the the looping kind of code so uh, let's look at the linear so this is a template so this is the the simplest thing you can do uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to pull this into our own folder so we can work on it remembering you never want to edit anything in the samples folder because if you do an update they'll get blown away so uh, to do this I'm going to uh, right click on the uh, op mode that I want to copy and click copy 
I'm going to go down here and right uh, and right click on where I want to put it which is the team code folder and paste now it's going to ask you for a new name so each one of these op modes is a class a Java class and it has a name that follows the the, the, the convention of starting with the capital letter and what you want to do is give it a name that is meaningful to you um, the name in the examples is basically telling you what it's doing uh, whereas what you want to turn it into could be something completely different so in this case I'm going to take the template off mode linear and I can rename it to be uh, my first op mode and say OK and then what will happen here it's going to make a copy of it in our team code and it's going to rename the class so it um, belongs in here so having done that let's look take a quick look at the program so here it's opened up my first op mode I'm going to um, close out these other readme's just so they don't clutter up my my tab bar up there so if we have a look in here every one of these samples has got a header block in the beginning I recommend you read through the header block because it'll tell you what the example does it'll tell you how to use it it'll tell you any requirements uh, and it will remind you that you need to copy it from the sample folder into the team code folder um, so last year if you're doing the, the FTC last year you remember that in order to get a um, op mode to show up on the driver station list you have to go to another section of the code and manually register it well that you can still do that but uh, this year the registration process has been distributed among the op modes themselves which means that each op mode is its own specification of whether it should go on the op mode list for the driver station and that's done using the first two lines uh, these words in yellow here uh, these are annotations that's a word you'll start hearing more about this year and annotations are attributes that get attached to the class in this case our class is my first op mode and we have two annotations the first one specifies what kind of op mode it is and your choices are teleop or autonomous uh, and then you can give it a name and then you can give it a grouping and then the name is what appears on the op mode list and the grouping is a way for them to get sorted in a particular order if you if you want to so I'm going to change this name here this name can be anything really it's just what shows up so I'm going to you know I'm going to say my op mode and my group I'm going to set that to to fill because I want my op modes to be separate from ones that anyone else writes at this point you're almost ready to go except it still doesn't know that this op mode should be added to the main list in order to do that we have to either delete or comment out this disabled line here so this is saying here's my op modes name here's where I want it to be sorted and grouped I want to enable this which means put it on the list and then here's my op mode itself and this is a very simple linear op mode uh, it starts by declaring the lapse time variable uh, there's only one method which is the run op mode method uh, the first thing we do is we put a status line up on the driver station that says the status is initialized there's a bunch of code in here that is commented out um, then it does a wait for start resets the timer and then goes into a loop waiting for the end of the op mode uh, so this loop is while op mode is active which means keep looping until the driver hits the stop button it's very important if you're doing a linear op mode not to do an endless loop because if you do uh, it won't exit properly among other things so the trick is that you want to always include the op mode is active condition in a while loop or any kind of loop and the other thing you want to do is you want to include this idle call the idle call gives up control of the CPU when it's got nothing to do and it lets the other things like accessing hardware and doing networking run faster and more efficiently so keep that in mind always include the op mode is active and always include the idle and in this loop here the only thing it's doing is displaying the runtime so it's not accessing any hardware so this op mode can run even if you don't have anything attached to the, uh, the phone so the next thing to do is to build this and then we can um, try it out so the build process as always is to hit the little uh, green arrow here and we're going to build this and we're going to watch the um, build process okay so we're going to click the run button which should uh, run the gradle to build then it should uh, transfer the apk then it should yeah, installing it and then it should deploy it Okay, launching it and it's launched comes up connected and we have upload my up mode select that up mode 
init it, says status, status initialized, <clears throat> running it, countdown, and then I can stop it, and it stopped. So we have our app, it runs, we're all happy.